What's up guys and welcome back to The Sims Alley where I'll be your simulation host, Alley. So I've got a speed build for you guys, another one. This is going to be a spa. Um, I needed a place for my sims to come and hang out during my bachelorette challenge. So I decided to build it like right across the street. Um, I enjoy the shape really interesting and weird um and yeah it's just it was a fun time i enjoyed it um there's a lot of fun little details in there that i was trying to put in and i like to put multifunctional things like in my lots like i feel like if you're going to build something you should be able to spend like an entire like amount of time there without having all your needs get all crazy you know what i mean so that was exciting and interesting. Um, and the fountain is probably, yeah, the little fountains are probably one of my favorite things. I just, it really brings the lot together. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to share it with you guys. It is on the gallery uploaded, fully done. Um, if you guys want to check it out and grab it, do it. It's under the Sims Alley. All one word. Just a heads up it's there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I wanted to have kind of like little planned out places. So those little towers are probably, I don't know, they're just really cool. It was, they were fun to build. Um, and yeah, I didn't really have a plan when I started. I kind of had a plan, but I didn't have a plan. That's typically how most of my build goes. Most of my builds go, if I could talk today. Um, that's how most of my builds go, so I just kind of just start building, like, I'm like, huh, this is what I want, this is what I, like, not what I want, or what I need, like, for my game, so might as well just do it. I don't know, I feel like I do want to create a save file one day, like, I want to create, like, just a whole, like, new rebuild world. I think, I think I'm going to take a lot of my builds and kind of rebuild a save file. That would be a lot of fun. Building is fun. I don't know. There's so many aspects of this game that are just very enjoyable. Um, sorry, my mouse, my camera angles get a little crazy. I get a little dizzy looking at them myself sometimes. I move quickly. Um, and I always like to get different angles of things, too. That can kind of, I don't know, be helpful, I guess. Like, I like to look at everything before I make a decision. But yeah. I decided no weird roof. I was just going to do like a flat roof because uh, I already have like the really interesting roofs over there. So, you know, why not? But, um, yeah, I really, really like, I love the glass roofs that came with like seasons. I just, those were, those were some of my like favorite things that they put into the game was just being able to have that. I just, it's fun. Um, I want to do, like, I don't know, I want to make, like, little, like, townhomes that have, like, you know how, like, townhomes always have, like, skylights? I feel like that would be fun. Oh, my gosh, this, the diagonal, like, working on the diagonal, that took, I feel like it took forever. Like, it looks really quick and fast here, but it took a really long time. Um, but, I don't know, it just, it works really, really well. Um, what else? What else can I say? Sorry. Sometimes I forget that I'm filling time by talking. Um, but yeah. Oh, so I guess I'll talk to you guys about my day. So, um, I, oh, those little things that I got at Target, the little plants that I was talking about on my last build, I have basil. It's sprouting. I'm very excited. They're cute. They're little tiny sprouts. And that means that soon I'll have fresh basil in my house, which is very exciting. Oh, and there goes the BB.move objects. There she goes. She's in full swing now. Um, sometimes I try to work as long as I can without using that just to see what I can do. <laughs> but we all need that sheet sometimes. Um, yeah, the outside's finally starting to come together. I really, really, really like it. it. Look, it's like modern, but it's weird, and it's just, I don't know, it's starting to take shape finally. Um, 
with all the columns and everything, and I don't know, it's just, it's a fun time. Um, but yeah, no, I have little basils, I'm excited. Um, and my succulents are doing good, like, they're chilling. I also planted lavender and rosemary, those haven't come up yet though, but the basil is like here, it's like here for everybody. It is ready, it's cute. Um, oh yeah, I love like the colors of these, this like deep like, but also kind of light like the brown, it just, it's, I like it, it's very neutral and cute. Um, but yeah, I love those two towers, I just think they look so cool. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it's, it was, it's interesting growing stuff, I'm excited. Um, I've been putting a lot more like greenery in my builds because I realized that I do like plants. <laughs> I'm going to try to get good at growing them, but we'll see. It's still a work in progress. Um, oh, that thing. I could not figure out how to fix that, so I just took it out. You're going to see me. You see me struggling? Do you see me? I'm just like, what is happening? Why can't, why can't it, why, just, no, delete. <laughs> delete. Doesn't work. Also, I really like that plant. It's interesting and weird and fun, so I sized it up. Um, what else? Yeah, but I'm excited. So I'm basically getting a bunch of like lots ready for this bachelorette challenge and I just, yeah, I needed, I needed a spa, but I feel like some of the spas are really big and crowded, not big and crowded, but like big and spacious. And I like things to be a little bit more tight knit because I, I don't know, I just feel like that's more realistic sometimes, but sometimes not like in, if you're in a really big spa you know, but yeah, I'm designing the changing rooms and bathrooms right now. Um, I always put like blue and pink tile in the floor just to dis decipher like which one is which until I remember. I, I don't know why you're going to see that in a minute, but, um, I always do that. Don't know why. Always do. At first they looked very lackluster, the bathrooms. I did not like them. But they slowly get there. I felt like I needed more more potties in there, you know. Um, but yeah, just getting all of that ready. So when you first kind of walk in, you have like, I'm going to build it soon, uh, the little bar area and then like the changing room. So you can get, you know what I mean, get all ready before you even start. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> get started at spying. I don't know. Yeah. Figuring out a name for the spa though, you'll see the end was, I could not figure it out for like a minute. Could not figure it out. Um, but yeah, love the windows with the fountain. I like some of the, I like the natural light, but like, I also like that it's kind of like dark in there and like, you know what I mean? I feel like it's relaxing. It's a very, it's got a very relaxing ambiance. Um, I still sometimes cannot figure out these stairs, like, with the new way that they're done, and they drive me crazy, but, um, yeah, they're, they're very interesting trying to build around, um, because sometimes, it, I don't know, but yeah, stairs, oh, the roof is coming in, it's driving me nuts right now just looking at it, um, it doesn't come in when you play though, which is weird. And then it was gone. Did you see that? That was so weird. It was there and then it was gone. See, it's gone now. Like, what is this? That's so weird. Um, very strange. But yeah, all the nice natural light. Um, I enjoy. It's fun. So what else? What else can I talk to you guys about? Um, oh yeah, the sauna double sauna in one room super super steamy you'll see what I do afterwards it's kind of cute I like it it's fun um and all the moving around but uh yeah I am very excited about the new the new series I'm coming out with I'm excited I kind of put my Piper LP on pause a little bit just because I don't know. I've never really played Strangerville, so I kind of wanted to take my time with it. And also, I forgot to 
record my audio when I did my first episode in Strangerville, so I'm trying to figure out how to fix that. Should be fun and interesting. <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, if you haven't watched that, but if you have, thank you. Um, curtains on a diagonal always kind of suck. I put something there because I didn't want it to be just outright like you can see in there. It's a sauna where people are half naked. Um, but also there's that like, I don't know, I feel like you shouldn't be peeking in there anyway. It's like a private lot. Like that's sketchy. Um, oh, and lighting this whole place, but like still having it be like those dim lights, you know what I mean? Like not super crazy lighting. Always interesting. I did use quite a few things from like the spa day, um, expansion pack, expansion pack, stuff pack. I don't remember. Um, and I wanted, I love the little outside areas where I can do, you know what I mean? Like where there's extra stuff. Yeah. I was really excited when I remembered that I had put that out there. I was like, Ooh. And, um, yeah, but the outside spaces are really cute. I like them. I like they're fenced in. So it's still kind of private. It's still like you're in the spa, you know, like doing your thing. Um, and then, bam, the hot tub. So you go from the spa, you want to go outside, get a little bit of sun, get a little bit of hot tub, right there. I kind of like that you have to go through there to get there. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting. Um, and then going on to build the front. This, I feel like, I went back and forth on a lot. You know when you're, like, building something and you're just, you know, trying to figure it all out, color scheme, everything? This one, it took it took a lot. I have, like, a scratch in my throat. It's very irritating. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that might have gotten it out. I don't know. It's still kind of early. I mean, it's not early. It's, like, 11, 15 in the morning. But, I don't know. I had coffee, so it should be going away. That's what I judge everything on. If I had coffee or not. <laughs> I love coffee. Too much. I do love coffee. Um, I got a new Keurig because I had bought an old school coffee machine, like the regular, you know what I mean? Like where you put the filters in, you put the coffee in, you do it all that stuff because I had a Keurig previously and it just, it was done. It was on its last leg. It wouldn't like, it was just crazy. So I wanted to get another pod based. Co well, I didn't want to get one at first. I was like fighting it, but my husband was like, you haven't made coffee in so long and you love coffee. I was like, I know. So we broke down. We got a new little Keurig last night. Um, it's cute. It's blue. I like it. I haven't named it yet. Um, but I needed some of that in my life. <laughs> like I just, you know what I mean? When you just need like a cup of coffee, but it's too much of a pain in the butt to like, <laughs> I don't know, wait 25 to 30 minutes for it, you know, and also have a whole pot of coffee. Like, it's just, I don't know. So, I'm donating my coffee pot that I had bought. In. I've used it like five times. I haven't really used it all that often. It's like basically brand new. So, I'm bringing it to work because our coffee pot at work is like dying. Is dying. So, yeah, I'm excited to do that but yeah I had a cup of coffee today and I have like um like a milk frother thing frother steamer and frother it's like a two-in-one so you can do like cold like frothing or you can do hot frothing which spoiled the crap out of me like if we're keeping it real if you're like you want a really good cup, cup of coffee at home get yourself one of those I don't know how much it was I got it for Christmas but it's like just every single time I have a cup of coffee at home, it's just an experience because, you know, I've got some awesome coffee, like froth or, you know what I mean? Like whatever milk of your choice. And the one that I got works really well with almond milk because I don't do like dairy because I'm lactose intolerant. So make sure you read your reviews, get one that's like good with like whatever milk substitute you use if you don't use milk, but ugh. I put like some creamer in there and some almond milk and then I froth it all up and it just makes, it makes my day. And I haven't been doing it because I'm lazy and don't want to sit there and 
like I said, wait forever for my coffee. So now, like today, my cup of coffee when I was waking up, oh, I, it was so good. I had two cups of coffee. We're keeping it real. Um, I was excited. And my husband drinks only decaf. Like he doesn't drink any caffeine at all. I know. It's insane. Like, I, I just, it's amazing. I don't know how he survives or functions or anything. Um, but I made him some coffee today with his sugar-free creamer and some milk. It was good. He was excited. So, yeah, coffee. It just makes me happy. <laughs> um, but I want to get, uh... I want to get some different pods. I have been out of the pod game for a while, so thank goodness they're still K-Pods. Um, I'm so mad at myself, though, because I got rid of, um, I got rid of, I had this little thing that, like, organized my K-Cups underneath my Keurig, but when my Keurig broke, like, months and months and months ago, uh, not months and months, like, I don't know, like, four months ago, when my Keurig broke, I got rid of it, because I was like, I'm not going to use pods anymore dumb decision. I shouldn't have gotten rid of it. I'm using pods again. <laughs> so now I just keep them in a Dollar Tree basket because I'm like, I'm not paying $15 for another one of those stupid shelves with little drawers specifically for your pods. It's not happening. I'm being cheapsy. <laughs> I know. It's a life of being an adult, having to make those, those, those brash decisions about being cheapsy. But yeah, no, seriously, like, I don't know. I just, I'll keep them in a basket. They're pots. They're cute. It works. Um, speaking of cute, look at how this lot has come together as I've been gabbing. Like, I've been watching it and just talking. Um, but I'm really liking it. Look at all those different places to get, to get you, to get you a meditation on, to do some, oh, and this. Whenever you, like, whenever I put, like, plants down, I try to make them different, you know what I mean? Like, oh, but I it really, like, the outside really comes together, like, in the next couple minutes. We don't have a lot of time left, but you're going to see some magic, you guys. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I'm on a new coffee journey. Um, I'm on a new challenge journey for my game. That's going to be fun. I'm very excited. Um, there's a lot of new stuff in the works. Um my husband's company is going to a convention. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of fun stuff like happening. Um, so yeah. I will talk to you guys soon. We're nearing the end. Um, she's putting all the plants down. We're about to start oh, there it goes terrain paints. It's time, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want to go ahead, like, subscribe. Um Follow me on YouTube, if you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, what have you. I don't tweet a lot, not going to lie, I don't. But Instagram, do it. Like, I post every once in a while. Um, I post on, like, my regular personal Instagram more, but you guys probably don't want that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and if you have any, like, you know, pointers, tips, tricks, anything that you guys, you know want to throw my way or if you guys have any suggestions anything you guys want me to build if you guys you know like I don't know see here this is what I mean by multifunctional it's multifunctional you could spend the entire day here dude the entire day I love stuff like that um but yeah if you guys want to you know throw me some suggestions let me know what it's about that'd be awesome I can't wait um yeah oh and when I show you in the video, I'm about to upload it to the gallery so you can, like, see what's going on. A little description. Do you see what I mean? Like, I could not figure out what the heck to name this thing. <laughs> I really, really couldn't. It was difficult. Um, but, yeah. Check you guys out later. See ya. Okay, bye. Okay, bye, guys. Get your relaxation on. This spa. Ah, spa. Okay, bye.